JR claims that his portable grill can heat up to 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit in just five minutes and can be used in any type of environment. I'm pretty interested to put this to the test and see if this can live up to its bold claim. Let's tear this apart. Yeah, we're gonna open this up. So that's nice, removable grill, so you can pull this out and clean it real well. This part here is to diffuse the heat. So it's actually a heat sink. A heat sink is an item that disperses heat from another object. In Velocity Grill's case, a specially designed fan provides maximum airflow, drawing in air from the base of the grill and channels it upward through the heat chamber. The heat diffuser plate then disperses the heat to create an even cooking surface, all while maintaining a cool and touchable temperature at the base of the grill. Everything so far has been extremely impressive. And then you open the chamber of electronics oh, to see like that? something that looks so chintzy. Wow, all this thousand degrees from that little guy with that. The design in there and the simplicity is impressive, but really it all comes down to meeting the claims you've made. So I think we need to fire it up, do a little grilling. This will be the first time JR has ever had a running clock testing his claim and numbers don't lie. You said that this thing can get to a thousand degrees in five minutes. While also maintaining quite the cool bottom, Brooke brought with him one of his favorite records. Dionne Warwick, Friends in Love, what a track. Even then the sun will warp, so we know that if that gets hot, we're gonna see it. Now I can never test anything without bringing a little friendly competition to it. So I brought my own portable charcoal grill, and I wanna see how it measures up against the performance of the Velocity Grill. I'm gonna get this started with the lighter fluid. It's sort of a race. I'm ready. Let's do it. All right. OK, so we'll start with this one. Oh, we need something to get our wood going. And so you recommended these little kind of like quick start lighter sticks, All right. right? OK, so just drop that bad boy down yeah. in there, right? Yeah. Now crank it all the way up, get the get the air going. All right. OK, we're going. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, so I do have to admit, this is probably the easiest wood fire I've ever got going, man. When you got that little bit of air going there, yeah. it's amazing what a difference it makes. Man, the smell of that smoke is so much better than the <laughs> smell of burning oil over here. We are at 1 minute and 40 seconds. Brooke, why don't you go check your fire over there? Where are you at? I got like 100 degrees. <laughs> and I could lightly warm chocolate. <laughs> All right, Brooke, let me see that temp gun. Can you get a reading on there? It's like 500 degrees. My charcoal grill didn't stand a chance, but the Velocity Grill hasn't won this yet. It still has to reach the temperature that JR claimed at the end of the five minutes. All right, we're at four minutes and 20 seconds. We're at about 724 degrees right there. That's pretty we impressive. Still got 30 seconds to go. OK. That is blazing. 950, 970. The difference between 970 and 1,000 doesn't seem like much, but it's still different than the claim JR stated. If he had claimed 900 degrees in five minutes, it still would have been just as impressive. Good thing for him, this wasn't the only claim he made. All right, so we're going to start these two steaks at the same time, one on the Velocity Grill and one on Brooks Charcoal Grill. The one thing that we haven't <laughs> tested here is we got a little bit of wind. Yeah. Are you good with us firing up that massive yeah. fan and blowing on it? Yeah. OK, here we go. This bad boy's going on three. <laughs> OK, let me start this timer. We're going to just see how far we can get with Brooks' steak, when apparently we'll have a nice finished steak in about five to seven minutes. OK, these look totally different. <laughs> well, we're five minutes and 10 seconds in. Let's cut it open and see what it looks like. Yeah, that's perfect. Just a little raw there on that side. That's yeah. not as bad as I thought. I don't know if this is fair, but I'll eat it. Yeah, that's pretty raw. That one still might move. Let's do a little taste test, Bri. All right, All we'll right. try the original charcoal grill first. I think it's really plain. Let's try the other one. All right. It's instantly better. It's really smoky. Mmm. It tastes like a good steak. You want to check on Dion Warwick? I'm going to try to lift this thing up. You slide that record out of there. How's it look? That looks fine. Dude, it's perfectly flat. And, and perfectly it's cool. cool and to it's the cold. Touch. 